Hey there, welcome to Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. My name is Jeff D. Walt, and along with my wife Megan, I serve in the YC6 BFG and the college men here at 9th and O. Now today we're going to look at Paul's prayer to the Colossians in Colossians 1, 9 through 14. In general, Paul has a great knack for encouragement. You'll see it all through his letters. In most of his letters, he gives thanks for the churches, even though most of the churches are doing a lot of things really poorly that he needs to correct them on. Not only does he give thanks for the churches, but he also prays for the churches. That's also a mark of Paul in his letters. I immediately think of his two prayers in the Ephesians uh, epistle in chapter 1 and in chapter 3, but there's also a wonderful example as we kick off the book of Colossians. So listen to the words of Paul. And so from the day that we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to His glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy." giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. What a prayer, right? It's pretty powerful stuff. But think about what the Lord, uh, what Paul asks of the Lord in these verses. First off, he longs for the Colossians to know the will of God and thereby to please God by their manner of life. He wants them to be filled with the fruit of the Spirit and walk in the power of God. He desires the church to be able to patiently endure trials with joy and to give thanks in everything. And finally, Paul desires for the Colossians to remember the gospel by which God has rescued them from Satan's grasp and welcomed them as his own children. Now you can tell Paul loves this church, and he also knows that the Colossians can't do these things on their own. They can't bring these desires to fruition on their own power. They need the Lord to work in them and through them, so that's what Paul asks the Lord to do. How would you feel if you knew somebody was praying these things for you? Well, I know personally it would be a great comfort. It would be very encouraging, and it would be hopeful. Um, It would strengthen me. Because what beautiful, powerful, applicable things these are that you could pray for another person. So my primary hope today is that you might pray this prayer for other people. That you might pray it for yourself. That you might pray other other prayers found in Scripture. Because sometimes it can be difficult to pray, can't it? Sometimes we try to think about how to interact with God or pray on behalf of somebody else. And I know I'm not the only one who struggles with that from time to time. But the Lord is gracious, and He gives us examples in Scripture that we can borrow word for word. There's absolutely nothing wrong with praying this prayer word for word for another person. In fact, I'd say we're we're missing out and neglecting a wonderful resource that we have if we don't imitate Paul here as he imitates Christ in praying for the church. Now, we know that intercessory prayer is powerful. The Lord uses our prayers to bring about His purposes. And what another wonderful thought that is, too. But therefore, I hope you'll join me in using this prayer to pray for yourself, to pray for your wife, for your husband, for your children, for your 9th and O family, your BFG, your pastors, your parents, your friends, any believer. These are wonderful things to pray for them. So, like Paul, I thank God for you, 9th and O. And I pray that the Lord continues to use passages like this one to grow and shape and mold you more into the image of our Savior.